And new controversy on the Clinton front again. The publisher of the book, Clinton Cash, is correcting a number of its passages. And now we're going to talk a little bit about how this is all affecting Hillary Clinton's campaign. When you've been covering the Clinton Foundation, the fallout surrounding the, the donations, first of all, is this really surprising? Well, look, I would imagine, Meg, that there are some, uh, some high fives in the Clinton campaign offices in Brooklyn today. Because over the last several weeks, they really have made this concerted attempt to push back uh, against some of the claims that the book was making. They were hiring uh, oppo, researcher, oppo researchers. Um, they essentially had their own war, war room out of the campaign headquarters ahead of the book's release um, last week. And now we're seeing that uh, the publisher is going to be correcting seven or eight passages that have uh, been proven to be untrue. In fact, uh, one passage even used a fake press release. That that's what the author uh, had been basing it on. So part of look, what the campaign was doing over the last several weeks was taking kind of a, a two-front approach. So on the one hand, they were working behind the scenes to try and discredit the author. But then they were also having Hillary Clinton out there um, focusing on policy issues, talking about criminal justice, talking about immigration reform, and trying to stay above the fray. Uh, you know, there are still questions about some of the allegations raised. There's been nothing, no quid pro quo proven, uh, but Hillary Clinton still hasn't answered questions about the perception of a potential conflict of interest. Uh, she hasn't answered questions in over in about three weeks from reporters. So how important is that that she comes out now in light of all of this? I wouldn't expect her to necessarily come out now. At some point, though, she will have to take questions from the press. Uh, for now, the Clinton campaign is saying they're not going to pile on or, or say anything officially on the record. But I heard from one campaign staffer who said, you know, truth truths are a stubborn thing. And, um, and the people who went out and bought the actual hardcover edition of the book, now they're going to be uh, stuck with the non-truthy version uh, because the corrections are going to be done for Kindle. You know, they yeah, obviously can't of... go and pull uh, the books off the shelves. Yeah, real statement of our time, going and being able to go back and correct some things that are actually going to be read.